The research coordinator will set up this collaborative uh, document. It will be an annotated bibliography. So you see collaborations here. And uh, we're going to start a new co collaboration. Keep it on Etherpad. You can do Google Docs, but everyone would need an account. And it's a little bit more complicated. You're going to type in the document name as annotated bibliography. And then you're going to put the people in that are collaborating uh, on this document. So let's say Luke puts himself, Kelsey puts her, um, Luke puts in Kelsey, and Luke also puts in Noah. So these are the three people in the group. Um, if you scroll down, you will then click Start Collaborating. And this will open a, uh, a, a screen that is actually the link to the document. But there's no Etherpad document here, so you're going to create one. You click Create, and it, it has a little... Uh, this pad text is synchronized. Uh, as you type, everyone viewing this page sees the same text. So just get rid of that, whoever's doing it first. And you're just going to type in annotated bibliography. Don't worry about the formatting. It will not format. So let's say Luke has found the first source, and it's the Huffington Post. So he types in that information. Kelsey finds something on National Public Radio, and we'll put in that information, and so forth. You want to make sure before you download the document that you have that you have um, five sources with the descriptions. Okay. Again, the formatting will be done by the research coordinator. So here are your three, and you get two more. So then you go up to Saved Revisions and you click on that and you want to click Save Now. So the Revision 1, this is when everyone is finished. You view, alright, and then you see Download As. You want to download that as a Microsoft Word document and when that comes up you will you will see this and now the point what you'll have to do from now on is um, you'll have to uh, format it according to MLA style so the first thing you probably want to do is it's in Times New Roman you want to do double spaced and don't add space between paragraphs all right, but remember we've got to, we're going to get rid of this. I don't know what that squiggly thing is. But you want to um, center that, of course, and you want to have the heading. So please, um, so put in put in all the names. Don't worry about the uh, inserting. And of course, Professor Willard Simpson. Again, make sure that you're just double spacing all this and don't add space. Okay. And then uh, continue on with that. You've got your ink 1101, blah, 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 CRN, and then the date. Okay, so everything's looking good, but it's certainly um, got some 
issues with the formatting. So you're going to have to fix those issues and um, use tabs and you use uh, keep the uh, keep the um, blah, blah, the uh, websites in there and um, again format this format that so that you're not adding any spaces and do that dump add space okay so again make sure you're not adding spaces and you have the hanging indents. Um, I view the ruler and push that over and then you have those. So make sure everything is good and I don't know why that squiggly thing is there but now it's gone. Okay so obviously when when you're finished you're going to save it and then you will submit this document. This is actually the link here, but we don't need the link. You just rename the document with all names. then you will upload that to the actual assignment and uh, that's it. It's pretty easy. This will have the one inch at the top, I believe. Maybe it won't. But make sure that there's one inch at the top and it doesn't go over. Make sure it's one inch on the side too. Okay, so it, it, it that's the tricky part is the formatting, and you will be graded on the format. So please take the time. All right.